Hello everyone, um, back in the home and trying to find a new normal until I can stock up on uh, these videos. We're going to keep it one at a time whenever I get the chance. Proverbs chapter 6, famous verses, some of my favorite, verses 6 through 8. Ready? Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Without having any chief officer or ruler, she prepares her bread in summer and gathers her food in harvest. I'm going to keep reading. How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber and wants like an armed man. All right. So here we have uh, the wisest man next to Jesus writing these words and he's telling us to go to the ants and to learn from the ants isn't that crazy uh, the wisest man um, yeah it bothers me a little bit when I hear people saying uh, oh yeah I didn't get anything out of that message I heard that already or um, that that was for like little babies or something but I've seen people that pick up children's books and they, they're like, wow, I'm reading this to my kids, but it's ministering to me. And I'm not talking about like new Christians. I'm talking about like pastor, okay? A pastor in particular, I remember her saying that. And so here we are. We can actually learn from an ant. How crazy is that? And so what was the lesson? It's to prepare in advance. That's what it is. To prepare in advance. So let's just make it real simple. What are you preparing in advance? What are you preparing in advance? Are you preparing anything in advance? So right now I'm working on these videos. I know it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it's one thing that I'm gonna just keep adding. And before you know it, I'm gonna have like 30, 60, 120, 365. It's gonna happen. Uh, I'm working on a book right now. Actually two of them, actually three of them, but um, like two is gonna happen I think more uh, in the near future and one of them I think I'm just gonna be towards the end of the year but I'm working on stuff uh, it may, may not be like the best stuff but it's still something that I'm working on but what what are you working on what are you working on I applied to a graduate program and, and I'm in I'm not gonna start this semester but at least it's in and it's uh, when I want to start I can start I have seven years to complete it but I'm working on something. I'm meeting a pastor on Monday. I'm meeting with uh, a couple of guys tomorrow and we're just talking. And uh, the one I'm talking to on Monday is like, hey, I'm trying to develop a relationship with the church and his youth group and speaking opportunities. And we're just gonna talk and see where that leads. And I'm, I'm keeping these lines open and I'm, I'm meeting other people, but I'm just I'm just meeting and I'm preparing and preparing and preparing uh, because when God shows up, it's going to be awesome. But I, I just want to ask you, what are you preparing for in advance? Uh, what are you preparing? Are you preparing anything? Are you working on anything that's like uh, futuristic? Maybe like that's going to help not in this next month, but maybe that's going to help in the next year or five years. Uh, what are you working on? We all ought to be working on something uh, like these ants, okay? They're preparing for like next season, actually. Uh, they're being faithful for, for this season, preparing for next season. So that's uh, what I want to ask you. I want you to think about and pray about. All right, so uh, this is chapter 6 of Proverbs. We'll see you in chapter 7. Uh, please share, you know, your favorite, your favorite like takeaway or your favorite verse. Uh, that speaks to you here or any thoughts that come to your mind or, or what are you working on? Uh, share that. We'd love to hear anything you have. All right. We'll see you.